little something I tried a while ago. It's a carbon arc lamp, um, which essentially consists of some bits of 10 gauge solid copper wire uh, bent into a very particular shape and then stapled down to a piece of wood. And on the ends I've sort of crimped on these, um, these copper clad steel clamps. Um, and uh, I took uh, Grant Thompson's advice and pulled apart some old lantern batteries and out of them I got some carbon rods and I hooked these these ends up to a car battery a 12 volt car battery and I got a pretty damn bright arc out of it um, bright enough to see out of a welding mask, bright enough to burn off all the wax, well not bright enough but hot enough to burn off all the wax there but yeah this was just sort of a weekend project that I, I threw together in a, well, okay, a Sunday afternoon project that I threw together in 15 minutes and gave it a try and it worked quite well. The one thing is I noticed 12 volts isn't really enough to keep a, a steady arc, you know, over some distance, because basically usually what you do is if you have, say, 30, 40 volts, um, once the arc has started, there's a, a certain amount of plasma that develops between the tips, and so you can spread them wider and wider apart, because plasma is, is, you know, electrons have been chucked out of the atoms. Um, it conducts, right? It's much more conductive than just air. And so you can spread the electrodes apart, and it will con the, the arc will, it's, it's basically the plasma, you know, very, very hot, throwing off light. Um, across a gap, but with 12 volts there really isn't enough enough potential to jump the gap and so I'm thinking now with my welder I might be able if I just hooked it up to here to get a much more steady arc and also since the battery is of course DC you get uneven um, heating of the electrodes so as you can see here this one the uh, the right one became much more eroded than the left one um, so that's something that an AC welder will also take care of. But uh, that was a, a cool little project and it seemed to work pretty well. The wiring didn't heat up at all, which probably means it wasn't drawing more than about, oh, 20, 30 amps. Um, Right, is it? Oh my god, it's bright as a daylight. Alright, can you turn them off? <laughs>